Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I have a new product from the Nail Prop Shop that uh, is being introduced. Um, it'll be on the website in two days, I believe, on the 17th, um, but I'll double check. And it's this. Um, it is called a French Dipper. So it comes with the lid and it is designed um, to do French tip manicures. Um, so I, I actually, when I first started doing nails, that's, that was what all you did was French tip manis. So very old school, um, but they're coming back and um, I think they're a timeless classic kind of look. So we, sorry, I'm picking off a hair off my desk. It's a puppy hair, of course. Um, so yeah, I am going to try it out. Also, um, if you didn't see my last video, I, I just wanted to show it off again. This is my Tumblr. It's called I Do Nails. And then it has the nail prop shop. And it also has my my discount code and if you're not aware um, my discount code is not um, it's not 10% anymore it's 15 so it's even better so yeah but isn't it gorgeous oh, I just love it I love, love it so let's get started so and this is my saving tray from the nail prop shop and today I am going to use I'm gonna try Ruth from Everly Nails and it is this really pretty shimmery white. I wanted to try something a little different. So that's gonna be my French dip part. So I guess I can dump a bunch in there. I don't know how much I need. Probably didn't need that much, but you know. Um, and then for my pink part, I'm going to use this light pink and it's Cura Sky. So, and yeah, so, and I'm going to do the gel method, um, base coat, oops, doo, doo, doo. top coat. I'm going to use my Madame Glam, uh, soak off base coat. Hopefully I can do it with a gel method. I I haven't tried doing a French tip with um, with gel, so uh, that will be different. So let's start with my baby. What I like about the gel method is it's way less filing for me. I just get a smoother application because I've been using gel for so long. Um, yeah, I probably didn't need that much. Just trying to. It's been a while since I've done. Uh, oops. See, so I've got way too much there. Let's see if I can. Where's my water marble tool? I'm just gonna pick some of that off. Oh, paper towel. I'm just gonna do a couple with with you in real time and then after that I'm gonna probably fast forward just because I don't want to bore you too much okay so that looks pretty good so now I'm 
just kind of pouring the, the pink over and that looks pretty good. Sorry if I was out of frame. Okay, so I'm going to cure this and I'll be right back. One moment. Okay, so I've cured. So I'm just going to brush off everything. I probably could have done another nail. I was just kind of being on the safe side. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's do one more. And then after that, I will kind of fast forward so you can watch it. Um, but I don't have to bore you as much. Um, I do have a peel off base coat on. I just thought I'd mention that. In case you're curious, I am using my UNT. My UNT. I don't know how it's pronounced. Probably swearing in some sort of language, probably, but. So I like it because you can. Oops. Um, it gives you the opportunity to. Um, oops. Well, you know what would be cool is doing different colors and then my nails are so long right now I'm kind of I figured for it would be perfect for the French tip because at least you get to see <laughs> a lot of French tip part and um, I'm not worried about oops uh, contaminating um, my my pink so I don't think it'll actually do much to it okay one sec okay so now I'm just gonna brush off that's not the not the best line but I don't have like perfect uh, lines or anything on mine. Mine are a little wonky. And I like me. I'm a little wonky. <laughs> Not really. Okay, one more. So, doing the gel method, it does. Go Ooh! probably shouldn't be picking it up. It's probably not the best thing. But I find it easier for myself. And plus doing it on camera, it's kind of... So that looks pretty good. I got a lot of coverage. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like it because it's wider. Because um, I have my other French one. Um, but it is very narrow. And I like the fact that this is wider. I don't, I don't know where my... I'll have to pull it out and I'll show you. But, okay, let me uh, cure this. I'll be right back. Okay, so we'll brush this one off. So look at that. That's three of them. Okay, so I'm going to probably do two coats. So I am going to... Um, I'm just going to fast forward the next two and then the second application and then we'll come back. Okay, one moment.
Okay, so I have filed and buffed and I have cleaned um, off my nails with some alcohol. They should be dry now. So I'm gonna just top coat. Get this out of the way. Uh, and then I'm gonna use my Madame Glam. Oh look. Uh, that looks like a dog hair. Oh well, you can stay. <laughs> One of the puppies. After this, I'll cure it and um, apply some cuticle oil. Okay, so let me just finish this up and oh, look, I'm gonna get hair there already. Okay, hang on one sec. Okay. So now I'm going to put some cuticle oil on. Do, do, do. I need it everywhere because my entire hand is just from the alcohol. <laughs> I'll probably I'll wash my hands after, but okay. So not the best application. Um, cause it's been a little while since I've done, um, the French Manny. Um, I have a repair here, so that's why this nail looks a little lumpy. Um, so you can see it's a little thick, but that is because I've got a repair there. Um, not the straightest, um, but what I'm actually going to do is, I think, cause I'd like to try it again. I was thinking I might do some funky different colored tips um, but I want to chop my nails down a bit because they're way too long it's getting hard to tight um, but I wanted to try it out with long nails so the next time I'm gonna try it out with um, shorter nails and um, yeah I'm gonna do some funky tips on that it was it was funny because back in the day I my my nail tech that I used to go to um, I used to get acrylic nails and I'd always do French manicures and then it started to, you know, she would get different colors in and then so she would get me to choose a color. Half the time I'm like, just pick a color, do whatever. And so we used to always do a different color each time I'd go in. It was kind of cool. Um, but anyway, I'm getting off track. Um, I do like this. One, I like how tight the lid is on there. Like it kind of snaps on. Um, so I like that. So if you leave your powder in here, like if you're going to use the same powder each time, like maybe a white or whatever, um, it's nice because you can, you can store it in there. It's small, it's compact, but I love the width on it. Um, that's what I was going to do. I was going to... My other one's really quite narrow for the French tip. Hang on one sec. So this is the other one I got. Um, it's a French dip. Um, now, I find it's really narrow compared to here. So if you've got, like, especially with when you're doing your thumb, um, it's it's a little awkward trying to get it in. Like, look how I don't have much room to kind of maneuver around. Whereas this one I do. So I do like that. It's really wide and I, um, yeah, I really like this one. I like the steep on it. It's quite nice. So depending on how much you fill it in, um, I probably had way too much. That was probably my issue. But overall, I really like this. So yeah, stay tuned. Um, I will be chopping my nails down and then I will do a French tip again. But I'm going to choose a different color. I'm going to do something funky. 
Um, but yeah, not bad for my first time. Um, if I do say so myself. Yeah, so that's a little flat. I should have rounded it more. Oh, that one's not too bad. My thumb's a little wonky, but yeah. Oh, wow. Um, maybe I can stamp over it and then hide it. <laughs> or put some glitter. Glitter fixes everything. Okay, so thanks for hanging out with me while I try this French dip um, tray. Um, and remember, um, this will be going on, um, I believe on the 17th. And don't forget to use my discount code to save 15% now, which is awesome. And, um, yeah. Thanks for hanging out with me while I do my nails and do some experimenting. Um, hope you guys are staying safe and doing well. And, um, yeah, love you guys. And remember, be someone sparkle. These two were chewing on their feet. Because apparently they're yummy. And the little bit of pebbles. The sleepy girl. That's 1-800-569-7100 now.